Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for checking out this video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to play the song Goodness of God by Bethel Music. I'm only going to show you guys one way how to play that song and that way requires the use of a capo. If you need a capo, check out the links down below. I put some links down below for you to check out and buy a capo that's best for you. If this is your first time checking out the channel, welcome. My name is Andrew. I'm a worship leader at my local church. On the channel, you'll find a lot of worship leading tips and tutorials. If that's something that you're really into, to, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to keep updated for future videos. It'll help out the channel tremendously. If you guys have any questions along the way, don't hesitate to ask. Just leave them down in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But overall guys, let's get right into the lesson for Goodness of God by Bethel. Alright guys, so Goodness of God by Bethel is originally in the key of A flat or G sharp. The tempo is 63 beats per minute and the time signature is 4-4. And like I mentioned before, I'm only going to show you guys one way how to play this song and that way requires the use of a capo. But before I show you where to put the capo and what chords to play, I want to show you the strumming pattern first. So the strumming pattern for this song is going to remain consistent. We don't have to switch it up for the different sections of the song. The strumming pattern that we'll use for the whole song will go something like this. It's going to be down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up. That strumming pattern again will be down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up. And what I'll do with the strumming pattern is I'll play it at full speed and then I'll slow it down right after. This is the strumming pattern at full speed. And this is the strumming pattern at a slower speed. If you guys are struggling with that strumming pattern, no worries. Just keep practicing it, come back to the video or rewind the video and you'll get it. So now that we have this strumming pattern down, I can show you where we're gonna put our capo. So we're gonna take our capo and place it on the first fret of the guitar and we're gonna play our key of G chords. And with Goodness of God, we're only gonna use five chords in total throughout the whole song. So these are the chords that we'll use throughout the whole song. It's going to be a G chord. D. E minor, or E minor seven. G over B. and C, or C at nine. So to start off the song, we can go ahead and play the intro. And for the intro, we're only gonna play one chord, and that chord's going to be the G chord. So we're gonna stay in that G for a little bit before going into the verse. The intro would sound something like this. So after the intro, we're going to go right into the verse, and for the verse, it is kind of lengthy. We're going to have a couple of chords all over the place, but just follow along. I'll put the chord progression right here so that you can follow along, but these are the chords that we'll play for the verse. It's going to be a G chord, C, G, D. E minor, C, D, E minor, C, G, D, E minor, the last three chords will be a C chord, D, and G. And we'll play that chord progression once for the verse. So the verse will go something like this. I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy. 
she never fails me From the moment that I wake up Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God So then after the verse, we're going to go right into the first chorus. And for the chorus, we do have a different chord progression. We'll play the following chords. It's going to be a C. G. Back to C. G. D. C, G, D, E minor, and the last three chords will be a C, D, and G. So the chords will go something like this. Life, you have been faithful. In all my life, you have been so, so good. Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. So then after the chorus, Bethel goes back into the verse, and that second verse is the same chord progression as the first verse, so no changes there. And then after the second verse, they go into another chorus, but that chord progression is the same as before, so no changes there. So then after the chorus, we're going to go right into the bridge, and for the bridge, we do have a different chord progression. We'll play the following chord. It's going to be a G over B. C. D and G and we'll play that chord progression a total of four times but on the third time that we play it instead of playing that G at the end we're going to play an E minor instead so what we're gonna do for the bridge is play that G over B C D and G for the first two times and then on the third time we're gonna play the E minor instead of the G and then we're gonna go back into the G over B, C, D, and G. If you guys have any questions about that, leave them down in the comments and I'll clarify that later on. The bridge will go something like this. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. With my life laying down, I'm surrendering now. I give you everything So after the bridge, Befa goes into the chorus for a couple more times and that chord progression is the same as before, so no changes there. And ultimately to conclude the song, we can go ahead and play a G chord. And that's pretty much how we'll play Goodness of God by Befa. All right, guys, so that's the lesson for Goodness of God by Bethel Music. If you guys have any questions at all, leave them down in the comment section below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. If you guys have any video ideas or song recommendations, leave them down in the comment section below. I would love to see the recommendations that you guys have. And before you guys leave the video, don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button and notification bell. It'll help out the channel tremendously. But overall, guys, I really hope that the lesson was useful to you. Remember to keep safe, and I'll see you in the next video.